reaching a community. I'm very, very passionate about getting the last Latino vaccinated in Colorado. Can sometimes take an untraditional effort. I'm a strong believer that we need to go to the community, not ask the community to come to us. Julissa Soto, an independent health equity consultant and community activist, has taken that route when it comes to getting Colorado's Latinos vaccinated against COVID-19. Any given Sunday, you'll see me in different churches speaking about the homily of the day and combining the homily with vaccines and public health and talking about vaccines in a cultural relevant way. Something she believes has worked. Because they finally see somebody that looks like them speak their language and is treating them with respect. For the last seven months, she says she's partnered with local health agencies to facilitate vaccine clinics at places you may not normally think of. I did that at Stampede Nightclub, I did it once, and we will get in and vaccinate people inside the club too. I would speak during the, when the DJ was on and I asked the DJ for the mic and I started educating everyone on Pfizer. The latest data from Tri-County Health shows that 49% of Hispanic people 12 and older are fully vaccinated against COVID-19 in both Adams and Arapahoe counties. Tri-County Health says it's shutting down many of its vaccine sites by the end of this week. Despite that, it's not stopping Soto's effort. Go to the panaderias, carnicerias, meat market, barber shops, beauty salon, spas where our communities at and educate. Take the time to educate them about the vaccine so they lose that fear. Soto estimates that her efforts have helped vaccinate around 13,000 Coloradans so far. With the help of Tri-County Health and Colorado Access, she's planning to host vaccine clinics every Sunday next month in Aurora and Commerce City, Kyle. We've known from the beginning of this effort, Luis, that that personal touch one on one communication is so important and the tenacity and stamina of people who are still at it with the idea that they can save people's lives. We have talked about different groups, seeing the ways that they uh, strategize reaching these communities. Servicios de la Raza, Adelante Community Development. They're all in different parts. Julissa Soto's base really in the Montbello neighborhood. Very interesting to see this all kind of come full circle in different parts of the state here. Now. Yes, indeed. Luis, thank you.